Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to show you how to maintain or fix your lift rod and the associated drain stopper. Very common for these to break, but the nice thing is the fixes are uh, simple. Sometimes just a simple tool is needed and you can get back up and running or just a quick trip down to a home improvement store or uh, ordering a part on Amazon and you'll get uh, back to normal. Or actually uh, what I've seen, you'll get it working normal uh, for the first time. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first type of failure mode we'll go over is when you have your lift rod and it will move up and down and you will not see the stopper move. Now the stopper could be in the up position, uh, the stopper could also be in the down position. And this one is can be very easy. So if your lift rod literally like pulls out, uh, that should be just the tightening nut at the top of the lift rod strap. All that needs to be is retightened and you'll get back uh, in running order. I'll show you an example here. Um, of how to do that and then also it could be inside uh, with the pivot rod where you might have um, the pivot rod might be broken so uh, let's jump down below the sink and then also I have some parts available where I can show you uh, what that will look like okay so for this first failure mode what we're going to be looking at uh, is the lift rod to what's called the lift rod strap and then the lift rod strap is what connects to the pivot rod uh, by this pivot rod clip. Now, when you have everything connected correctly, you'll be able to move this up and down, uh, and then your drain stopper will operate accordingly. These newer ones, you'll see that it's basically all plastic. So for this, uh, these type of instances, you don't even really need tools for some of these uh, different failure modes. But for this one, the first one that, that is actually the issue with this is between the lift rod and the strap, this tightening nut is loose enough where you just have free flow and then eventually the lift rod just comes out. So all you need to do is you can go down there, check if it's not tight, you see that free flow, you just reset it in and then Put your stopper in the up position so then you can put your rod down and then tighten it when you're down below. Then you'll be at the correct adjustment so when you tighten it, your lift rod will be down, you'll be able to pull it up and then that will, uh, that will seal the stopper in the sink. So let's jump on the sink and show you how to tighten that. All right, so now we're down here under the sink and you can see how the lift rod's completely out of the strap so what you'll do just lift that back up and pass that through and because we have the stopper in the up position I can go ahead and let this lift rod come all the way down in in another scenario where you didn't have the stopper in the right position you might not have the correct travel once you start uh, after you tighten this all right, so we'll just, all we have to do is tighten this nut here. You can do that with a crescent wrench or a normal wrench. There's a few different sizes. There's not kind of one size in terms of this bolt. You don't have to get over overly tight, but I would snug it up there. All right, so now you can see the whole assembly is connected. Give you a little better perspective there. Okay, so if that's your failure mode, super easy fix, obviously no parts, uh, but let's jump into the next one. Okay, so the second failure mode is if you see this lift rod strap going up and down according to when you pull on the lift rod, and then this pivot rod here seems to be working correctly, but the stopper is not moving, then you probably have an internal failure here on the other end of this pivot rod. So what you'll do is we need to actually uh, break into this and inspect closer on what could be the issue. This one's metal. You saw the other example was just plastic and it has a wing nut on it. So in that case, sometimes you don't even need a crescent. 
And what I'd first do also is uh, remove this pivot rod clip here. So just squeeze that and then pull it off. So then that will leave that free and you can set the, the clip to the side. Take this nut off. And then in, in my scenario, obviously this is not broke. You will see uh, both at this pivot ball to plastic and the plastic going into the bottom of the stopper or you'll see all the way metal metal for the rod and then uh, just the plastic ball. So take this out, it should look like this. Um, and then always remember there is an actual seal in here. So whenever you're reinstalling this, make sure that that seal is in place. It's very common for people to get ahead of themselves. One side of that seal is flat, the other one is concave. That concave side, the sloped side, needs to be facing out because that is what's going to give you your seal onto that ball. So before you install it, make sure that seal is correctly uh, installed. And then let me jump up and show you. Um, one, this is good for maintenance. If you remove this, you can kind of clean out any hair or gunk that is in your stopper. So we'll pull that and I'll show you which uh, way the stopper needs to be oriented to get everything back uh, in working order. Okay, now with the pivot rod out, that stopper should just be free to pull out. Um, other failure modes you'll see, so if the pivot rod looks good in there, but your failure is you cannot pull the stopper back down. So everything looks tight from the lift rod to the lift rod strap. The lift rod strap is correctly attached to the pivot rod. Um, the failure could be obviously internal like we went over, but also at the bottom here, you could have this plastic uh, piece broken out. With the, some of those pivot rods, actually I'll grab one right here. So if we look at this new one, this is, a, is just a metal one. And show you a closer look at that at that seal. So that seal needs to be correctly in place so this ball can seat against there and then water will not come out of your drain. If you do not have that in or you have it improperly installed, super common point of leakage once you have everything back together. So you might see, if you actually have a failure, you might see some corrosion here and this side of the pivot rod broken off. You can pick up these pivot rods, there's kind of universal sizing. So you can pick one up off of Amazon or your home improvement shop. To give you an idea in the description, I'll put some of these replacement parts that you might need uh, over to Amazon uh, so you can see and get an idea of what you might be uh, able to order. Okay, so back to the stopper. So if we have everything back together and we need to uh, place this stopper back in because your failure mode could be when you when you move up and down your lift rod you can push the stopper up but it never pulls down a common failure for that is the bottom of the stopper is positioned 90 degrees offset so what happens is the pivot rod is supposed to go through this side of the stopper and then move it up and down. Sometimes when people get in a hurry, they install the pivot rod and then they have the stopper on the side. So what that does is it will push it up, but it will not pull it down, right? There's nothing to hook onto. So you need to make sure that this loop in the stopper is facing the wall, is facing the faucet, and you go ahead and install that so that loop is directly open to the pivot rod coming through. That can be a little tricky, uh, but just don't get in a hurry, take your time, and then once you have your pivot rod reinstalled, make sure the drain is operating accordingly. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'll jump down there and show you guys how to get that installed and how to make sure everything's working correctly. 
All right, give you guys a closer look here, what we were talking about. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's that loop. So what you, you do not want it off to the side, or we're gonna have that failure where we'll only push it up but not pull it down. So you want that loop open up so the pivot rod can match up to it and then properly be installed. It's kind of hard to see that, but you can use your phone, just like I'm using my phone to videotape this, you can use your phone to make sure that's aligned and position your phone so you can see to make sure the loop's correct. All right, so let's get that pivot rod back installed. Okay, so again, do not forget the seal and make sure that the sloped side is facing out. That sloped side or concave side needs to go against this, uh, the ball. And that ball you're gonna have, no matter if you have a plastic end like this or if you have a metal end. So I'm gonna insert that in. I'm gonna insert it through the loop. Tighten this nut. And before I get too far, I'm gonna hand tighten this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that the drain is working correctly. And it is. Okay, so the drain's working correctly. Now that clip that we set off to the side, we're going to reinstall. So we can get this strap connected to the pivot rod. So you just go through the one side of the clip, then through the strap, then through the back side, apply pressure, and then scoot it up. One tip here, so everything is connected now. You can see the pivot rod at the top of the screen goes up, the strap goes up, or sorry, the lift rod at the top of the screen goes up, strap goes up, and pivot rod also. Oop, fell off here. So you can adjust this. So the further you go out to the end, the longer travel you're gonna to have to pull up and down with the lift rod to make your stopper go up and down. The further you go in, the less travel. You can't go too far in or you'll start getting it um, where it, it's actually not aligned. But that will kind of limit your travel. So if you don't like how much you need to pull that lift rod up and down, you can, you can go ahead and move it in slightly and then that will reduce the travel. All right, so now we're back in business and I'm gonna tighten this guy up with a crescent wrench. Actually, one more thing, guys, while, while I'm down here. So this little clip here, if you saw, was a little loose. To get that clip so you can actually get some friction, get to stay, you, you can actually bend it slightly. So you need to bend it out. So then when you reinstall it, get everything lined up here, strap on. Then you need to push it, trying not to permanently deform it. But now, right, because I, I made it so it was flared out, then it puts more friction on that rod. So then you'll be secure and you won't have it slide off uh, later on. And that's it. So hopefully some of those different scenarios cover your issue and get you back up and running. If you need a pivot rod or a new drain stopper because those are actually broke, just go ahead and look in the description and I'll put a few links over to Amazon for the parts that you might need. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to put content out there and best of luck on your home repairs. Take care.